How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this uh, Football Boots review of the Skechers um, new pack which is the Diamond Ice Pack. A really really beautiful colorway um, as you can see here. It resembles with um, a cool ice finish um, for a striker so Harry Kane who's going to be the main sponsor for Skechers. It remain, uh, resembles this kind of colorway, ice cool and cold in front of goal to finish. And also the uh, razor for the speed boot is really, really nice design. Um, I particularly like this clean, uh, no material, no distraction here at the front of the toe box area um, for that kind of really clean strike and also just a very smooth material and very comfortable. Um, look at the colorway of this as well, of the sole plate, beautiful. The chrome probably will wear out as well. Um, oh, it may not be actually, I don't know if it is chrome, but after some use, probably it will, won't be as shiny as this. Um, but yeah, both boots are really nice for the first generation of Skechers football boots. Um, I'm very impressed with Skechers. They've done very well in terms of bringing out two different boots um, targeted for different players. Um, and they've done very well for a first generation boot. So um, when they bring out their new generation, second generation, third generation, it's going to be very difficult to trumpet. Uh, but if they do bring out something similar, then, you know, I think Skechers are going to be in for the long run for football boots. But it's just the beginning and it's a great start for Skechers. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the XKX01, um, so probably meaning first editions of the SKX. Um, really, really nice control material here. Um, you do notice it when you're wearing the boots, even though it's a small detail thing. Um, the control, the first touch with the football, um, yeah, it's just a really, really nice feeling. Passing the ball as well with these. Um, targeted for wide feet players. So look, you can see very stretchy. Heel cushion at the back is really soft and comfortable. So really nice touch. Um, sole plate, you can wear it on FG and AG as well. I've worn it on AG and it's fine. So here they tell the chrome will finish. So yeah, the chrome will come off. Um, really, really comfortable. Sole plate, as I said, FG, AG. Um, so it's good for both pitches and that's a good investment. You're paying... Um, I believe 100 and something, 180 plus or 200 pounds for a pair of these. Um, so it's really good. You don't have to get two boots. You can just use one and save the money. So here they've got the precise strike control material. Um, yeah, just I really, really like it. Um, and make sure to comment down below if you have a pair of these as well, what you think. Um, the control materials, do you feel like it makes a difference? Because you can feel it all around the boot and it's really, really nice. Um, and you do notice it in terms of the touch and the shooting and passing for the football uh, with the football. Um, yeah, so these can you can wear them for all feet types, even very wide feet. Maybe go half size up or one size up and try them on first before buying if you've got very wide feet. But they will accommodate you as well because yeah, very very stretchy, very flexible. And I broke into them within a couple training sessions, so maybe two three training sessions, and then you can bring it into like a competitive training or match or five aside. Um, but yeah. It's a very unique boot as well. Not many people will have these. So, you know, people will wear the usual uh, popular boots and you can wear this to stand out and, and look different. So if that's about you and your personality and your play style, you want to stand out and look different, I recommend these SKX uh, Zero Ones. Really, really nice boot. Um, efficient, comfortable. It's going to be durable. I've had the, the, the blue ones for about half a year now. Still doing really well. Um, yeah, so really, really reliable football boots. And now when it comes to the Razor, again, very nice boot. Um, reminds me a bit of a Vapor, um, Mercurial Vapor boot. Uh, but these ones are a bit more wider than the Mercurial Vapors. So you will be able to get feet, uh, fit your feet into the football boots if you have wide feet. Um, previously with the blue and the black colorway, um, I had a bit of problems with the um, heel cushion in terms of getting blisters when using it for the first couple training sessions. It was a bit stiff. But I think they've updated it, which is very nice, after just a couple, uh, two colorways, which is the heel cushion here is really soft now. And I've used it for one to two training sessions and I haven't had any blisters yet. Um, so maybe um, Sketches have um, changed that about the heel at the backs to soften the material. So reduce the chance of you getting a blister, which is really, really nice. Um, these are more aggressive than the SKX. So for the firm grounds, they're really, really nice and real grass pitches. You definitely notice the change of direction um, and quick feet. Um, yeah, so you do notice that, and it's a small detail thing. Um, for firm, uh, for AG grass, you can still wear them on artificial grass. Just use them for a couple training sessions or kickabouts first. 
uh, once you get used to the, the boot, then you can take it into a competitive match for changing directions. Uh, sometimes it can be a bit difficult um, uh, or a bit of a, a risk of twisting your ankle or hurting yourself when you first use it straight away. So I recommend try them out in the artificial grass first, um, use them for a couple sessions and then um, you take them into something competitive when it's required for fast pace and change of direction. But all in all, a really nice speed boot. And these, as I said, can accommodate wide feet. So if you have wide feet, do try them on and they should feel very, very um, comfortable for you as well. They might be a bit um, tight on the toe box area. If it is, maybe go half size up um, and, and try them on before buying. And if you've got very wide feet, I don't know about very wide feet, but try them. Maybe go one size up, one full size up and see if they are comfortable for you. Um, and then, yeah, see, see how they go. Um, but I'm not too sure for very wide feet, but these are very accommodating speed boot and reminds me a bit of the Furons. Um, and yeah, it's, it's better touch than the other speed boots out there at the moment from Nike, Adidas, Puma. So that is a nice alternative if you like speed boots, but you've got wide or very wide feet. Um, flexible material, really soft and comfortable. And all in all, another really, really nice um, boot from Skechers. Um, I'm very impressed with how Skechers have brought out these two football model, uh, football boots models. Um, really, really good. And I just can't highly you know, praise it enough. Um, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe um, as I plan to make many more comparisons or boot video, review videos. And make sure to comment down below what you think, if you're thinking of getting them or you already have them, pros and cons. And I'll see you next time for another yeah video. All the very best and take care.